Welcome to the first Trinas Tech Talk recap of 2026. This episode focuses on two main themes. First, why hardware prices keep rising and what that means for home and business storage builds. And second, how TrueNest and ZFS are adapting to that reality with better hybrid storage options, along with a deeper look at the new web share feature coming in Half Moon. I'm your host, Evan. Let's get started. The Chris's start this episode by talking about rising hardware prices across the board. Not just new parts, but older components like DDR4, DDR5, and even storage is becoming more expensive. The problem is AI. Manufacturing has shifted heavily towards GPU memory like GDDR6 and high bandwidth memory for AI workloads. This leaves fewer resources for consumers and regular traditional server hardware like you and I use. The problem is even if AI demand slows, there's no excess manufacturing capacity waiting to be used. The fabs are absolutely maxed out right now, which means at best prices may level off, but it's unlikely we'll see them return to where they were anytime soon. With the flash and RAM prices staying high, all flash systems are becoming harder to justify for many users. Because of that, hybrid storage is finding a way back into the conversation. After the conversation about rising prices, the Chris has walked through ZFS features that people ask the most about and what actually makes sense. One of the ones that comes up frequently is L2 Arc. What they want to emphasize is that L2 Arc is a read cache, it's not a RAM replacement. This only helps when your hot data doesn't fit in your existing memory. For most media servers, this won't make a notable difference. For something like Slog, Slog is not a write cache. It's for workloads that require synchronous writes, like certain VMs or NFS setups. If you don't know that you need a Slog, you probably don't. Special VDEVs are where things get more interesting. Special VDEVs move metadata and optionally small files onto SSDs, which reduces random I.O. on hard drives and can noticeably improve responsiveness in hybrid systems. One of the bigger changes coming in Half Moon being released in April is expanded support for special VDEVs. With OpenZFS 2.4, RAID-Z layouts will be supported for special VDEVs, giving users more flexibility beyond mirror-only designs. There are trade-offs, but it opens the door to more cost-effective hybrid setups. The Chris has also mentioned new dataset options that allow pushing more data onto SSDs and rebalancing files as workloads change. The second half of the episode focuses on clearing up confusion around the new web share feature. If you haven't seen our web share demo yet, it'll be linked in the video description below. Web share does not require flash storage. You can share data from hard drive pools without any issue. The flash recommendation was only applicable to the search index, and even then, it's not mandatory. Web share uses the same permissions and ACLs as SMB and NFS. It respects existing user accounts, directory services, and access controls. From a security standpoint, it's designed to avoid common mistakes seen in many third-party web file managers. Anonymous sharing links inherit the creator's permissions and are automatically invalidated if any access changes. The TrueNest Half Moon beta is expected around February, with WebShare already available in the nightlies. The main takeaway from this episode is straightforward. Rising hardware prices are forcing smarter storage decisions. Hybrid ZFS setups and features like special VDEVs are becoming more relevant again, and TrueNest is continuing to expand built-in sharing with WebShare, while keeping performance, security, and proper permissions in mind. 2026 is shaping up to be a year of efficiency, not excess. It'll be interesting to see how many users start leaning into the hybrid systems. I myself do run a hybrid system for this exact reason. If that's something you're considering, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, please leave us a like and go ahead and subscribe to get notified when we post the T3 breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.